So you are a man with big gun that wants to shoot. Then you friends are a heavy weapons guy. Hello everybody, this is Brace Good here. Welcome back to more Man vs. Machine, or the first episode. I don't know what episode of, of, uh, order I'm uploading is in. So, you want to play the heavy, I see. Good choice. Everybody could use a heavy in Man vs. Machine. Because they are broken. <laughs> I, I kid, I kid, but still. First, let's go ahead and look at your loadout here. Now, these, this loadout all depends upon your personal taste. And anything I can recommend to you is not an NLBL. You must use this. But, I'll show you what we got here. So first off, melee. Don't expect to use your melee very often, or even at all, to be honest. Because if you're meleeing, then you, there goes your, your main source of damage is you run out of ammo, ammo and your main source of damage. Your melee is your last resort, so... I, but for your melee, I actually recommend every one of these weapons you see here, except for the warrior spirit in the lower right. That is going to reduce your health, and you need to be kind of a frontline person in there, getting in their face, doing terrible things to their face. Oh my. Me, I'm using basically default. It's a frying pan. He holds it funny. Your secondary, also not terribly important. You can use pretty much any of them here. I could, I would argue between using a shotgun and the Delacus bar to and the Delacus bar to give yourself more health at the start of a wave. So I would argue those two. I'm going to be using the family business because I like that shotgun. And finally, for your minigun, I could recommend all but one minigun, the Tomislav. There's damage fall. There is so much damage fall off on this thing that it's not worth it. The, but in order, I recommend Natasha, the stock minigun, any one of these two, by the way, and then the Brass Beast. And for upgrades for your first round, we're actually going to go ahead and grade up, stick with our minigun. First thing, you're, first thing you'll probably want to get is some health on kill. So I'm going to go ahead and ready up while we get ready here. Now for those of you that that have not seen the Man vs. Machine video before, I'm going to explain to you how waves work. More or less, what comes in a wave. At the, start, at the top there you see that we have to deal with scouts and pyros. Scouts and... Um, if you ever want to see which direction the bomb has to go on its path to victory, it's indicated by these blue arrows here that you're seeing right here. So, that's pretty much it. This guy is using not using a good loadout. I'll tell you that right now. That's his face palm moment. I'm sorry. Now for Heavy, how far out does his dispenser range go? Not very far, but... I can't even jump to get it. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to stick... I'm going to act kind of like a second sentry of sorts. I'm going to stick right here at a vital point, and I'm going to shoot into the crowd. Now the reason why I recommend Natasha, even though it has a slower rev up time, is you lock enemies in place. Oh good, we have a scout collecting money. A money scoot, if you will. Now, as a heavy, you're primarily going to want to shoot the bomb carrier. Bigger targets than bomb carrier. Oh, I am out of ammo. I need to retreat. So here's where your shotgun comes into play, or your or your secondary. If you have a shotgun, basically as you retreat, grab it, grab your, grab it out, and then while you wait for the next wave to come along. Oh dang it! I didn't quite get enough ammo. Yo dang. I wonder what it got. So I'm going to get back up to that dispenser now. We have a break in the wave here. So as you retreat, just fire off some shots and backtrack. Yoink. I really hope you didn't just get you just got your center. So this is why I recommend Natasha above all else, because it is slowing. 
it will slow down whoever you're shooting. Oh, something to grab. If you're, if your uh, allies stuff is on the ground, grab it. I'm gonna grab the money from up here. Now, as a heavy, you're typically not going to grab money. That's just a rule of thumb. So there we go. Now we have seven hundred dollars. With that being said, and we have six hundred credits altogether. We're going to get the the most necessity-based upgrade for heavy ever which is destroy projectiles. You now can shoot huntsman arrows, jars of Dorati if that comes into play, rockets, grenades, anything that go that travels through the air that isn't a bullet, you can now destroy with your minigun. And then we'll talk about canteen upgrades. I'm gonna say for your canteen, you're gonna, you can choose between either uber charge or crit boost i'm going to si i'm going to save my money for this uh, for this round so now we have too much defense oh god we have defense we have defense more heavies more heavies more love So yes, there's four heavies in this wave. In this particular game. I'm gonna panvitch ya! Panvitch! Alright, I got myself revved up. So our engineer might not be as intelligent as possible. That's unfortunate. But at least we got this. So we're dealing with support scouts, but our main thing is devilmen and soldiers. Perfect timing for this wave. So yes, there we go. That's the power of shooting rockets. Just basically aim at a soldier or a demo man and hold on your left click. Oh, thank you for bringing your uh, dispensers down, Angie. That helps a lot. Our engineer brought his stuff down for us. That's awesome. So just blind fire into everything. That's pretty much what we're going to be doing now. Shoot those damn soldiers. Shoot the soldiers. Shoot the everything. Get out of there. So yes, with this setup right now, we can, if our engineer were to rebuild his dispenser anytime soon, we could effectively just sit here and spam. But I got a kind of, oh, I got a medal from that. Yes, I like this new weapon. I'm going to focus on the sentry buster. This is how you can help out immensely. It's down, watch out. Now they're kind of funneling towards the bottom, so I'm actually going to stand on the corner here a bit. And just shoot anything that comes down here in spurts. Okay, I'm out of ammo. I need to go for more. More ammo. We'll work on the ammo problem later. Okay, I can't pass up the opportunity to shoot at Scoots. Oh crap. We got it! <laughs> Get the money, Scout, come on! We got the full monies! <laughs> ah yes, the tank is coming. The tank, the tank. Now this lets me explain to you in more detail support waves and main waves. The support wave now the main wave we have to deal with is the tank coming down our throats. The support waves are snipers and spies, the heavy's worst enemies. Luckily these snipers don't headshot, so they can't instantly kill you pretty uh, effectively. But what we want to do is I'm actually going to spend my money 
on ammo capacity. All my money on ammo capacity. Go, go, go! Why, you might ask? More <laughs> shooting, of course. Never heard that one before. So, so with our gun ready, we have more ammo than we could ever hope to forget. Oh, we have a medic? I suppose. He's got a quick fix. I'm gonna go shove my fist down this tank's throat. I figured he was speaking, but this is effectively lets you know what I'm doing is tank. Now, as a heavy, get right up in this tank's face. I don't worry about being crushed, because the tank will not crush you. Unleash hell! This is how you take on a tank. And... This is too much. Uh, Scout, can you take care of those snipers and spies when they come about? I'm just shooting, and I'm dead. Well, we got literally a lot of the damage, so... <laughs> we'll be able to get this, no problem. Don't worry. We got it. Uncle Scoot is going to give you a guarantee. And there was a spy bot. So get right up in that tank's face. And it's over. Beautiful. Some fall off the side. Oh, I found it. So there you go. That's... This is it in a nutshell. This is how you play heavy. Hold down, left click, win. So I'm gonna... Now, for heavy, you're wondering, how does one get more damage as heavy? As a hoovy? Well... You increase your firing speed. And some more health on kill. Now your gun's gonna start sounding pretty funny when you start getting this uh, firing speed upgraded all the way. So yes, we're all gonna be heavies and hug our, hug our guns. Hug, our, hug your gun. Uh, looks like our one guy's going to be AFK, so it's this guy. So, well, I guess I'm going to go ahead and cut the footage here, guys, until we get to the start of the wave. So, I will see you in a little bit. And we're back for the wave, and I'm going to ban you. So, anyway, now we have to fight heavies. Lots and lots of heavies. I'm just sitting right in here. Getting in their faces, making hatred for them. I'm not checking my if I have light. I don't. Firing speed, firing speed, firing speed solves all your pro damage problems. And the health on kill will solve your uh, will solve your living problems. I'm gonna focus on the bomb. Slow it down. There's a spy. And we're kind of getting her asses handed to us right now, unfortunately. But then we come back to the base here and we just stay here. So I'm going to stay here on the bomb and just shoot at scouts. I'm going to shoot at everything. Walk into my gun. Walk into my bullets. Please tell me somebody's shooting at the water base. No, they're not. Dang it. Who will shoot the water base? Alright, well, I'll meet you at the start of the next wave, guys. Alright, here we are again, guys, at the start of wave four. So, let's see 
What happens? Three, two, one. We had some problems with sentry busters. Oh, this that's why this engineer can't move a sentry. So me actually killing sentry busters helps him greatly. Anyway, uh, once again I want to tell you guys, if you are switching classes uh, mid-wave, it is not a smart idea at all. Taste my wrath. I'll gun. Put this gun here. I'm going to focus on finding spies. So now it's my time to shine. Get in there and shoot the heavy. Shoot the guy with the bomb. Oh, thank God. I need to go get some of this. Drink my this. Oh god, that's too much gun for me to handle. I'm down. I'm down. Spies are dead. At least that's the problem we were having before. Oh, tell me. Now what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to buy some firing speed right now. Just to get myself some... Uh, just to help with this. Now everything that wants the bomb is going to have to go through me. Uh, I can't handle that at all. Did that really just happen? Well, this is going south in a, fa in a hurry. I'll stay up here with you guys and try and find spies. Come on, there's got to be another. The spies like to go for sentries, by the way, so... So what I'm doing right now is I'm effectively just acting like a non-mobile... Like a, a slightly mobile sentry. Spies are dead. Why do we have another scout? Do we? Is there one in here change? This is a dumb idea, by the way. Do not shoot targets that are really far away from you. Now, I'm gonna shoot left, and hopefully your sentry will shoot right. This is probably about just the right range for heavy to be shooting. Oh god, I'm gonna die. We got it. We got it. We got all the money too. Yes! I mean, somebody joined. Oh, that's what happened. We had somebody join us, Scout. Oh, I was kind of worried. We that, That's our second time doing that wave, unfortunately. Oh yeah, I spent some of my money. That's right. We'll do that, and I'm going to buy myself some personal Uber. Now, for having for Canteen, I can recommend Uber Charge or Crits Creek, whichever you would like to use. I would recommend Crits Creek more if you have a medic uh, healing, if you have a medic behind you, but I'm going to be go. making the super heavy stay a problem, which segues into the, the giant heavy. And more about support. Now, there's going to be scout after scout after scout after scout coming in this wave. But the moment we destroy that, that heavy, the moment we destroy that giant heavy, it's over. That's case in point of why this, this mode is awesome and intelligent. So, I guess I, so at this point, I'm going to go ahead and cut here. But I will see you guys at the start of the next round. Alright, so we're at the start of a wave. Now, my plan for this wave, seeing as it's super heavy, I'm going to go, away. as soon as that heavy drops down, I'm going to get in his face and not move with the with the one Uber I bought. Well, I'll probably die. So, and I'm going to tell my team this. 
Hey guys, if you can't focus on the, on the giant heavy, as soon as he goes down, it's over. Fire on the heavy! I'm gonna die. <laughs> I got the heavy down to half. And that's it. That's all you gotta do for that wave. So do that. And then I'm actually going to invest in projectile penetration. This will increase your damage a lot. Basically, if you can read on the left there, bolts penetrate one additional enemy. Now, bolts don't penetrate your enemies by default. So what this does for you is it, pour, is it makes your bolts penetrate into the next enemy. Giggity. Super soldiers. Oh, I'm going to eat these soldiers up. Remember that pet projectile destruction we got in like round two? Go, go, go. Yeah. I got projectile destruction for those, these soldiers, so I'm going to kick boys. ass, so to say. So, okay, that didn't take too long to ready up that time, but here we go. Here we go. Oh, he's a distraction. This guy is acting as a distraction with his bonk energy drink. I love him. So, I'm going to let the sentry... I meant more or less going to sit here and let the sentry shoot at little scouts as they come along. But as soon as I see a super he a, a giant soldier, I'm going to shoot him. Now these giant soldiers, they have lots of health, just like the giant heavy did, and they're also going. But these, this brand of them, are going to shoot rockets. And these rockets, these rockets are nothing to us. That's it. Get out of there. Oh, Spy got me. Spy behind you, Heavy. Really? Uh, Spy behind- Spy Heavies. Spy Heavies everywhere. So now I'm sitting at base killing scouts with my gun. Now I'm looking around for spies. So I'm going to shoot at this soldier from here. So yes. Now we sit here. Oh, money here. And now we go after the last heavy after I make sure I'm at full health. Done. That's it. We finished the wave. We owned a wave. Um, there might be some more money back up towards the front. So that was it. Oh, okay. Now our soldier's going to have a field day. Or not our soldier's. I'm going to have a field day. Why? Projectile penetration and more health on kill. Let me also buy some Uber charge. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I'm going to kick some ass. This song has no tempo, we can't find the tempo If you found a tempo, I really don't envy you And I wanted a pony, but we can't all get what we want <laughs> Anyway, I'm just messing with it I will see you guys at the start of the wave if it doesn't start immediately here Let's go, let's go, let's go. Alright, here we are at the start of the wave, folks. 
This wave. Oh god, this wave. I am going to hate and love. Oh my god, I can stand away from the dispenser. Uh, Merciless, the heavy. The dispenser's got range on, so you can stand away and shoot. So I'm just going to s s stand on range and shoot at scouts all day and have fun. I am really not moving. There's some money up top, Scouts, you can get there. Went back off a bit. Yes! Sentry Saver, I am. This is just all scouts. I'm just laying waste. Lay waste to my competition. Shoot down range and don't even don't even worry. I got help for days. So again, shooting down range. Sorry, my chair's speaking a bit. I don't even care. I don't give a damn. I'm sitting right at the corner here and just firing. Sniper's on the right. There's a robot with a bomb behind us. I'm not going to save your sentry this time, man. I'm going to stay on the bomb. So I'm literally going to stand here and shoot at robots that come my way. I'm, that's kind of weird to hear that call out. That was a very good wave. I love that wave with Heavy. It's just so mean. So here comes the next wave and the funnest wave. Kidding. So anyway, now what you're seeing here is <laughs> medics with uber charge. These medics do not like our existence. That's weird. So I'm going to buy some of this and then I want to buy something. Oh no. I'm not going to buy it. Well, this basically not rec rec rage. I don't quite recommend. I don't recommend it all that much. But basically, you can use it, and when you t and when the rage meter is full in the lower right corner, when you see it, it will basically allow you to push your targets away. That's effectively it. But I'm going to actually, I'm going to put some firing speed in my shotgun for now. Yeah. So yeah, then they're talking about killing the next fast. Do you want me to just stand behind them and shoot at the medics the second I see them, or do you guys want, or do you scouts want to handle it? Y'all ready? This is it, the last wave. So yeah, Defend I'm trying to plan with our scouts, but they're not helping. Five, four, three, two, one. I'm gonna go behind them. I've got some movers. So here they come. Run away, I popped it. <laughs> that was a bad idea. That was a terribly, terribly bad idea and I can't believe I went through with it. This is stupid. Oh. 
Okay, that's it. I need to go get some ammo. And now we focus on this. I ain't even that. I'm not getting the help with the Sentry Buster. Are you someone's face? Okay, you are. There we go, we got this. It's in the bag. It is in the bag, folks. We got this. I'm gonna... And we are... With my last few bullets, we are done. That's it. That is all she wrote. That's all she wrote. That is the end of the wave. That was fun. Heavy is fun to play in Man vs. Machine, because you just hold on gone and kill. And if you have a Medic, <laughs> it's even more fun. So, I'm going to go ahead and end off this video, guys. Thanks for watching on the Play Heavy, and I'll see you in the next class.